Okay, I want to say um, hello everybody here. Welcome again to another video. Uh, this video, um, in this video, I'm a little bit, um, I'm in a different mood, really. Um, I'm a bit shocked and saddened uh, in some way, disappointed, I should say, that um, my positivity is going to, um, you know, uh, turn around and backfire on me even from uh, people that usually give me support and are, are very friendly it doesn't mean that they have to um, agree with everything I say or everything I believe in, not at all and I shouldn't really be shocked either because whatever you say in the world it could people could turn it back on you or see it a different way and, and the main truth is everybody has been through different things in their lives but um, I'm not going to say the name, okay? A good, good friend of mine who I still respect absolutely. I'm, you know, what am I going to do? Am I going to take the channel down or take my videos down or what? Because you know, being upset because someone disagrees with me, not as easy as that. I would say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, rush to stop sharing or anything like that. But you know, um, but you know, I. I made, the other day, right, yesterday, I went off my own back to make eight videos in a row, eight videos, I wrote a list down, a list of topics, and I made them fairly short each video, I, made, I wrote a list down of eight videos, I thought, of topics for positive stuff, because I thought this world is full of so much negativity, and I thought... Um, someone should just, you know, be putting some positive messages out there and just like at least share, because like, who the hell are we to share our advice anyway? And I'm not the kind of person to share advice with anyone. I don't even believe in that constructive criticism or advice or anything. I believe like I have my own experiences in life. So do you. So does everybody. So nobody can really give advice. In, we're in no position to give any advice how to deal with their lives, either mentally on the inside or actually in their lives. Um, that being said, however, we do have some good to share. And, I, and I've also made this clear, um, we do have a lot we can share with each other, with each other as a human race, okay, human race. We have a, you know, a lot we can share with each other and we can learn from one another um, in terms of be inspired or not by others I'd say that and like I already said if you're inspired by others people's words or if you're turned away or whatever it's still only you and your own ideas inside it because something seems right to you or wrong to you it doesn't mean that this person's right so whatever or this person's wrong no it's like or good or, or good or bad in what they're saying it's just you reflecting from your own thought what is what is what suits you and another main true point which I will bring up okay before I talk about my, my issue here because I'm just babbling now uh, is you know this person brought up a very true point which is you know you can't you can't base your life on somebody else's basically right if you've not suffered if you've not suffered the same uh, trauma is the word that was used if you've not suffered the same trauma or same whatever it is, abuse or suffered the same hardships as somebody else, then you can't really talk about the good or the bad in that person's life. You, you Basically, you can't talk about another person's life to be giving advice. You can't be sharing this and that and uh, uh, expect to really change the world as such, or why would you even want to? Um, from your standpoint, you are literally just you. Now, I've made this clear that I'm not the kind of person who would try to do that. Many years ago, um, in 2008, when I first started sharing videos on YouTube, I was always making like video, like philosophy videos, as well as martial arts, just like my own like philosophy on life, just my own thoughts, just positive topics and stuff, and I was just talking about, because I was inspired by somebody else, I saw somebody else doing it, uh, sharing stuff, I'm a martial artist, and I thought, you know, this is... Um, good stuff, you know, this is um, someone out there is putting some good messages out, and I was inspired, and I was thinking, well, I have a lot of love and care for the world, I don't understand the world, I can't say that, oh, I care for the world, so therefore take my advice, and I'm not saying that, but it's like, I thought, you know, well, 
there's so much hatred, there's so much nastiness going on in the world. I thought, you know, maybe we're better to actually share some good. Some people have got to put it out because, because at least if you're hearing good every day, even if those people are wrong, like even if, even if people watch my videos and they think I'm just giving advice and stuff, they'll st you know, you can still see that I may be an idiot. I may be coming from a wrong place. I may not be coming from your experiences in what you've been through in life. I may be in no position, and I'm admitting it, to uh, be telling people how to live their lives or what's easy to do and what's not and what I think the way. But still, you can see, if you look at the situation, you can still see, here I am, in my simple mind, and all the rest of it, sharing. I may be simple, I may seem simple, but I'm sharing some good and saying, you can think good of yourself, you can think good thoughts. Yes, you can't change the past just by trying to snap out of it and ignore the past. If you've suffered bad things and bad happened to you in life, uh, if wrong as bad things have happened, big events have happened in your life, they may have been uh, short time events or they may have been things which lasted for a long time, whatever it was. But if you suffered in the past or if you've been through things that have affected your life in a real way, like as in it's affecting you today, like you can't even walk properly because of it, or I'm not, <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, if it's, uh, you know, but, um, or, or the way you're living, or you can't even, you know, get a job or certain things, you know, it's like it's really affecting your real life now because of the abuse has actually literally crippled either you or crippled your life situation. Are these things still in some way there? Not in your mind, actually really bothering you. Then, then you know, what can you do about it? That's an absolute fact. But for a person to just snap out of something in their mind, I agree, it's hard for someone to snap out if you've had past abuse or things you've had to deal with growing up or whatever it was. And you may have to live with that, I know. Are you going to be, you know, but, the, but what I'm trying to say is, you can, I'm sure you, you even know without me saying, you, when you, are you thinking about those things all every day, you know, I mean, I mean all the time, you may say, well yes I am, I am, maybe you are, I don't know, but sometimes you're probably not when you're having a sleep or you may dream about, I don't know, sometimes people are eating or whatever you're doing, um, watching a film, watching a movie, I don't care, or just having a shower, whatever you're doing, you're not, when you're crossing the street, you're going to get run over because you're thinking about this all day. I'm not trying to teach you, see, I'm right. I'm not trying to say, see, I'm right. I'm saying, the other day, right, I made eight videos based on positive topics, just sharing my thoughts. Not really advice, tell you level. I may, I may have said the word, uh, my advice to people would be blah, blah, blah. But I don't mean I'm giving advice, telling everybody, this is the way. This is better for you. My thoughts are better for you. This is what you should do. This is why I'm doing it. Yeah, give me a thumbs up. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. You know. Hey, if anybody doesn't like my channel, doesn't like any, doesn't like anything I say, just just unsubscribe. You know, unsubscribe or I'll close the channel down. You know I'm saying it's enough of that. So what I'm saying, you know, if 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 it gets to the point, I don't I don't have to do this. You know, I mean, just go out there into this world and see the nasty. Uh, stuff that's going on around you, and you know, nobody has to share. Imagine, imagine if nobody was sharing any any nice, p positive uh, messages. Now, have I suffered traumas? Have I have, have I suffered? I've suffered so much trauma. In, if you want to talk about trauma, I've suffered so much stuff now that I'm literally uh, the way I see it is I'm facing death, right? And I'm not going to go into detail. Um, uh, you know, work-wise, we do what we can to survive. But I'm literally facing certain things here where you know it, it's hard. But I've I've been through so much. If you want to talk about um, what kind of t are you talking about emotional ab abuse and or people were, um, that have affected your life in such a way? Or from since being young as a, as a boy, growing old until now, it's been constant fear. I've been, I've been in control more or less. I've been well, basically my survival has been in people's hands basically. Society, yes, but I'm just saying, my whole schooling was affected because of bullying. Right? Now, you, I wasn't affected so much like other kids. I've been beaten up, I've had bikes ridden over my body, I've been beaten and kicked on the floor by groups of people. I've, I've had a lot, right? I've had stuff, I've been punched in the stomach, I've had all kinds of stuff happen, memories and stuff. Right? 
but most of my life I've been on the run. I've seen people uh, go and suffer in, you know, this uh, much worse bullying. I saw someone get chucked down this hill, I was <laughs> this big hill. But um, I'm just saying again. But I've seen I've seen a lot of stuff, right? But there's always people that are suffering more than you. There's people in this world that are literally dying. They've got no shoes, no no water, literally no water. If you what if you look, there's parts of the world where they're literally living, lying in the mud or dirt. There's no water to be drunk, even mud water, and um, and they're dying. There's people that have got cancer. There's people that are about to die. There's old people that are on their way out. There's people that have just become blind all of a sudden just in the last couple of days. There's people that have been paralysed from the waist down or wherever. There's people that have been, um, you know, whatever, you know, uh, lost limbs uh, and all this, okay, got cancer, been told they've got cancer. There's people where, you know, um, are going through stuff. And yes, when it comes to abuse and stuff, you know, people do suffer abuse, I know. People have been beaten, tortured, robbed their whole life. I've been robbed and mugged so much as well. But but let's go back to what I'm saying now. I've been robbed of my whole life. You know, I've got no idea. But what I'm trying to say is, okay, there's people out there that have been, um, you know, uh, robbed, abused, uh, sexually abused, raped. I don't care which way or one other. I don't care if it's by men, women, or animals. You've been raped one way or another, abused. Um, that's all there is, isn't it? Physi physical abuse of some kind, or verbal, or whatever it is. You, if you talk about mental abuse, I've been told I've been told I'm a piece of shit most of my life. I've been told I'm basically uh, uh, all of the bullying that I get is because I'm too quiet, and the way to win is to stand up and and fight. So, and you're not supposed to end up in prison or killed or hurt or constantly looking over your shoulder in a prison. Or if you always fight, like I say, if you fight in a school, you fight in prison, you fight in a job or fight on the street. Yeah, you can win sometimes. But I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just been saying. I'm just. Been t I've been told most of my life that the reason I um I put up with stuff is because I don't stand up to people. But the, the thing, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to talk again. I'll make another video about fighting again. We're in, we talk about actual fighting. If you really wanted to do someone in, you wouldn't be putting yourself a risk face. You, you literally, when they look the other way, you fucking kill them, do them in with something. It's not too hard, really. You know what I'm saying? But I do. But I do the. You know, <laughs> But I, do, but, I do, but I do the um, you know the the positive uh, way, with the sensible way, which is just avoid them totally and get on with it if you can. If you can't avoid a situation, then you're going to have to be beaten senseless or killed. If you can't fight back, and you're going to you're going to have to try to fight or run away or whatever, aren't you? If you have to fight, obviously. But not everybody's um, we're all we've all got different builds and all the rest of it and confidence and all kinds of things. There's a lot of things that can get in the way. But what I'm trying to say is, okay, there's people that are just weak in their mindset, like, in terms of self, like, there's no desire to survive, you'd rather dwell on those things, you say, how do you know me? I'm not saying I know you and that's a fact, I'm saying there's people out there that would, that, even if they do, they can't help it, they can't escape it, so what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Sit and have a... You want to have this problem your whole life? Do you want to have it your whole life? This stress in your mind, think, dwelling about it? Telling someone to just snap out is not, it's not good advice, no. Like I've even said that, I'm not saying just snap out of it. Uh, although I wish it would do that. But I'm saying you're going to have to... You're either going to think about it today or you're not. You're going to think about those things or not. So when you think about it, what's the good that comes from it? It's not about what can be done about it. There's nothing you can do. You're just going to have to live with it. Well, okay then. You know, you, the way people talk about it is like it's the same as they've had their arm chopped off, and there's nothing they can do now. They can just live their life with just one arm. Uh, they, they're trying to say it's the same thing. Yeah, is that what you're trying to? Say? Some that's the message I get. I don't know. I'm a bit wrong, but like it's okay. So like basically. You've been abused as a child, or whatever the hell it was, sexually abused, or, or beaten up, or whatever, beaten, bullied, or been told you're no good enough, or whatever it is. Mentally, physically abused, whatever happened to you. Because wounds heal, the body teaches you it's going to heal anyway. But I'm saying, right, some things don't, you say, fair enough. Why can't the mind heal itself? That's a weird thing. If the mind can't heal itself, I can't understand that. But you're going to say that there's no way of overcoming it, there's no way. Or, or you're going to say that. It's hard. I'm saying it might be hard for people, yeah. 
you can't forget certain things, can you? You can't forget things. Right? You can't literally actually forget. If you look back on it, and the more you think about it, the more vivid it becomes. In some way, the memory is still there, especially if it's big things that were wrongdoings and people have done wrong to you in your life. Done wrong. You know, I get that point, of course. But what I'm trying to say is, I'm not giving advice to people first and foremost. I'm not putting myself in their shoes, and I'm not, before you say I am. I'm not putting myself in people's shoes saying that I've suffered the same abuse uh, I, I'm sorry, I've, I've not suffered the same abuse, but still, uh, you, sh you need to snap out of that, uh, stop moaning and whinging. No, 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 I can listen to someone all day, you can talk to me about your past abuse and whatever, and I'll, I'll be a good listener. I'm afraid I wouldn't be sitting there and saying, well, yeah, but you need to do this bit of advice. No, that's not the point. I'm saying, <coughs> you've got one day here, have you saw your last day in your life? Some old people in hospital will give you advice. It's the last day of your life now, the last hour. Are you going to think about that? Are you going to let them win like that? And you say, it's not a case of letting them win. It's just the fact. No, you just, everything I say, you want to just chuck it back in my face. What I'm trying to say is, fuck everything I'm saying. I can say I'm wrong. Everything I'm saying is wrong. Everything I'm saying is useless. Now, what are you going to do with your time? You, you're either going to do what's good for you or what's bad for you. So what's good for you? That's one thing, right? getting on with your life, right? Doing something positive, right? And then there's another thing where you say, well, yeah, but there's this problem still that occurred. It, my advice, my, my point is, that's in the past. Fucking in the past, right? Was it wrong? Yes, but it was in the past. Your, your point of view is, yeah, but it's still in the present because I have to live with it every day. It's like, fuck. And I'm saying to you, right, there's two points, as I said, the first point, well, how are you going to live your life? Are you going to continue for yourself? How are you going to use your time? You're going to be positive, doing positive things for yourself, staying in a positive state of mind, doing stuff. And if you say this second point here, okay, this thing is still there, it's a niggling thing, distracting thing in your mind, how would you like to make it right? What would you like to do? You know, I hope people don't go out there and, you know, murder or, or beat someone up in revenge or whatever or whatever, but still it seems like you want some kind of revenge. Is it you want these people to pay right, okay, you know, is, is there a legal way of doing it? You're gonna go hunt them and down, find the police and all that and then you see the person ah yeah, the person's behind bars now. I'm in tears but I'm so happy. It's like I'm not making fun, I'm just saying like you know, where where does it end? The people this is people's mental psychology. So are you happy when you see this and you're sad when you see that? It's like some little child, you know it's like you know what, if they're dumb, fuck them. If they made a mistake in my language, if they're dumb, it's back to real me talking now. If they're, if they're dumb enough to be negative, or let's say they're twisted and confused enough to make mistakes in their life where they want to abuse other people, you know, they're in the wrong. Why are you going to live and become be their puppet? The more you think about it constantly, you're going to constantly be that person's slave. You're going to constantly be a belonging of that, of that person. They owning, you're owning you. Don't you want to say fucking they ain't worth a shit? Because what they did was stupid. What they did was wrong. What they did is so bad that it's making you feel bad and you have to live with it and all that. Is it? Heck, what? Are you, are you worth that? Is that what you're worth? Living for that? Fuck me. I'm not worth that. Now, I may have not suffered the same trauma that some people have out there. Yeah what you call it, trauma or whatever. I've suffered other stuff. I've, you may have suffered things that happened in a couple of seconds that have affected you for the rest of your life. Really bad stuff, right? You may have actually suffered really bad things too. There's people out there that have suffered much worse than I have in certain ways. They don't compare my life to those people. I've suffered things that most people would call a trauma or a suffering for most of their life. Things that have affected their lives in the long term and affected it till now. I've got this on a daily basis. I've suffered things. I've suffered things in the past that have really uh, upset me, really messed me up and, and things that have bothered me for all of my life. I'm in such a situation now where I understand that, mo that I'm actually understanding, at least to myself, for my own life. I'm not, I'm not saying other people, but for me, I've learned this, that I've learned that no matter what's happened, no matter what happens or has happened, the main thing is I'm alive and I can see that you know, as long as I'm surviving, as long as I'm alive, I can actually, you know, um, do good. So it doesn't mean someone kicks you, it kicks you in the nuts and you're like, oh, that's nothing, just, you know, the pain will die out and I'll just forget about it. No, 
but the point is what you're going to do about it. If someone was to shoot me in the head or shoot me in my fucking nuts or whatever, what am I going to do about it? If someone gonna, is going to punch me, what, ah, it's going to rain, I'll get my umbrella if I can see it's a cloudy day, or I cover, I'm going to fight if I need to fight. Prevention is better than cure. So you're going to you're going to prevent more suffering. Are you going to continue to suffer? When do you want to stop suffering? When do you want to stop suffering from the abuse, even ment- mentally, right, you're talking about, you know, from the past abuse, whether that be physical or mental. It's not a case of just brushing it under the carpet, just forgetting, forgetting, and this and that and that. But you're just going to go on for the rest of your life. I'm not trying to say, forget it, it's nothing, stop moaning. It's gone, it, the past, the past. I'm saying, fuck them, straight fucking hell. I'll be, I'll be laughing for you if these bastards pay. But it's like, uh, I'll be happy if they, if they learn more, if they would fucking... Uh, learn and change and you know why wouldn't they come around and fucking understand and admit not even admit to you but like admit to themselves and know that they were wrong in what they did you know but um this is a little chat here just saying just to, just to cover my words there so anything you hear me say anybody in any video whether i'm swearing and fucking getting over the top expressing myself or whether i'm speaking nice and calmly like i was in those videos Talking about friendship, love, oh, sorrow, happiness, uh, the good in life, the bad in life, whatever I'm talking about in these different talks, they're just me, my way, sharing my own points of view. And I'll put a disclaimer on there, I think I'll put a thing on there to let people understand it also, whether you read it or not. Because the thing is, right, I don't believe in giving people advice, telling people what, how to live or what's right or wrong. So I'm told that I've not suffered the same things as people so I can't tell people to um, that one way, not not tell you how to be but I'm not allowed to share this point of saying a reminder that you have a choice of and you say I have no choice man I don't have a choice that's the point okay I'm saying that my idea is okay, an idea from some people in the world an idea would be you can um, far and few but some people would say can say this is a possibility, okay, this is a possibility, I mean, that you could try, effort, you could try to focus on good rather than focus on bad. And if you say, well, you, I can do that or I can't do that, but whether I can or I can't do that, there's still this thing niggling me in the back of my mind, this arsehole, what they did to me in my life, then what are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? What, how are you going to stop that? What is the way? It's surely not in my mouth, is it? My idea is fair enough. Okay, so what is it? What is it? And if you say there is no way, you just got to get on with that for the rest of your life. And you can focus 100% on that and make, it, make you live a lower life than you could. You know? Or, you can focus on some more good. Try your best to distract yourself and focus. I'm not saying it's totally impossible. It's totally... Uh, no, 100%, you know, you, you can forget about that. No. I'm saying, right? You've got to focus on good. So just make the choice, man. It's like, you know when you disagree with me and you think what I'm saying is wrong and all that? Okay, so whatever I'm saying, whatever people say, people say good stuff, people say bad stuff, whatever they say, you're still alone in the world with your problems, but yet you take the problems that other people have given you and you take that and your trauma and all this and you just walk around with it. So you won't take the good from people, knowing that it's good from the hearts of people. No, no, you, won't, you won't look to see good, or look to see good in your own mind, or try your best to focus. You just want to say, I'm, I've suffered, I've suffered, I've, I feel bad about it, I'm going to bring myself down. When this video stops, you're still going to know the same thing. Anyone out there. So if there's people out there, you you know, I don't know shit. But you, you know, okay, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And what are they doing? They're probably getting on with their life. Don't you deserve it? Don't you deserve more than them? Like I said, you know, I think I mentioned this in another video. It's like, oh, I forgot how, what I was saying. I don't know if it was that video or not. It was one video I was talking about, you know, people like, I forgot, life and death and saying about being positive in life. Because like, if you're dead, you know, you can't be, can you? Like a zombie, it's like, you know, is, is, oh yeah, I said like, is a dead person negative, you know? No, not, not negative. Or it's just, it just is what it is, right? So you're alive. How can you be more negative, like, than a, what, than a dead person? You know? But, you know, uh, but I'm just saying that literally, you're alive. I want you to forget anything I'm saying. Look at it and like, say, you know, I don't need to listen to that fucking idiot. 
Say that to yourself. I don't need to listen to that fucking Richard. I don't need to listen to anybody. I don't need to listen to any motivational speaker, any positive person. I don't need lessons from this. I don't need to spend my money, time or energy from any psychiatrist. It don't matter how far or close they are, rich or poor or whatever. I don't need to listen to them or my enemies or anybody. Because um, I've always said, Richard's always said me, I've always said, yeah, you can take, oh, try to take at least and see good in everything, like try to learn from the positive and the negative, take from that and then learn to be a better person and work and be positive and active in your own way and find your own way in life, yeah. But you can, if you don't like all that, you can still turn that around in my face and say, fuck it, I don't need to listen to Richard's bullshit, I don't need to listen to people, you know, you know what, at the end of the day, it's all crap and then at least you'll be left with your own thoughts, you need to have your own peace and focus. If you can't you're either going to focus on good or bad. Which one's helping you live better? <laughs> That's the end point. Fuck everything I said in this video right now or before. Right? If you don't like it, okay. If you think I'm totally wrong, you look at all that nasty stuff out there in the world. You know, if you understand, try and talk to people. My God, you follow who they think's got the power. Me, we get to the point, right? So, you now can think a hundred percent about the, the ways you, you know, or there's more about what you want to think about or more about the things that bother you and upset you the trauma, past trauma or whatever it is right? we're not, we're not talking about the, the, the present trauma, past trauma present trauma we've got to fucking try and deal with the past, which is in your mind to do also right? I'm just saying about that yeah but the thing, the past okay you can think about that which one is going to help you live better and you say, well, you know what, sometimes the past trauma helps me. Okay, so stop moaning about it. You know, I don't, if, you, if you like it or you don't, you like it or not? What is it? You like the taste of it or what? Look. <laughs> look at it, right? Fuck what I'm saying. I'm a, I'm a piece of shit, right? Just look at the past. Uh, look at the Whatever it is, right? Focus on the good or focus on... I think people focus on what they want to focus on a lot of the time. If you don't, then what is it? You, it's like you're, you're just trying to study or what? You're trying to learn something, learn for what? You learn because you want to better yourself. You want to do things. You want to try and win. You don't want to keep trying to lose all the damn time, right? So which, which direction are you heading in life? Where are you now? What's the point? You're just worrying about it yesterday. You're worrying about that for months. You're worrying about that and this, this trauma, that trauma for years. What about it? What, what, where's it getting you? Where's it getting you? The thing is real. What happened? Fuck him to hell. Whatever. Whoever did that to you. Yeah, but... You know, you're still, is it still doing it to you or what? In your mind? Because you can't escape. And that's you, you look at them. Can you look at them in the, look in the eyes of that person and say, I can't escape your trauma. You are the king. Fuck them to fucking hell, I say. Not in a hateful way, like, as in terms of do someone in or whatever. I'm just saying that they're twisted. They're confused. They're sick. And even, even without saying fuck them and being nasty and hateful, like, this person's obviously sick, twisted, and confused. There's something wrong with them. Okay? And whether they're evil, pure evil, or they're, or they're twisted or sick or whatever, that person's not normal, or they weren't. So what they did, their actions, okay? But you to just chain yourself up to them and just follow them for the rest of your life. Cause, because some little bastard, some little Richard, some little Richard here on a video thinks he can talk about people's trauma like he knows what it is, man, and tell people to snap out of it. You know, <laughs> who's he? Yeah, there's people, that's, that's sad. I never imagined that, you know, friends of mine on here would be like that to me, like, the people that give me support. I, I don't mean that people would always agree with what I say, like some of the things that I say, you know. I don't mean that everybody would have to agree. I've got a friend of mine, another friend of mine, that always disagrees with me about certain things, certain points. We always have a discussion. We always have this disagreement about a couple of these two topics. I'm not going to go on about them now, one in particular. And, um, you know, that's normal, but it always is awkward to talk about this topic with this person, another person. Um, there's a couple. There's a couple of people I know that have just got different ways of thinking. That's totally fine, yeah, because we're all different. We're all different. But to be told that me telling people to be positive is bad advice. Are you sure? Serious about that? So what? What's the opposite? What should I say? Okay, I'll say. Let me say it the other way then. Um, okay, I've not been through the same trauma as you. Okay. Okay, just. You're going to have to live with that. Continue to dwell on your problems. And just... Your life's going to be shitter for you now. They crippled you. Poor you. What else can I do? Is that what I've got to say to you? You want to hear that? What use is that? 
Oh, look at that man starving. Poor man. <laughs> so, fucking good that. It's like, I, I don't have any authority. I don't have any authority. I don't even have any position to even speak good, bad, or anything. I might as well say nothing, right? Say nothing to you. Just walk past the starving. Or, it's like, I've got enough. People are worth nothing. You become so abused. You abuse yourself over and over again in your mind because of what people have done to you or whatever, or, or what people in general. And you just look at the world, it's so negative, and you just walk past the world and say, that world ain't even, it's nothing, man. it's nothing. Or you look at the world and say, this world is everything, it controls me as well. That's another problem that people do. It is ever, you become nothing, like a ghost walking around in the world. So you suffer the, what well, have you suffered more abuse today? Then what, you're going to live with that for another ten years as well? You suffer, <laughs> so someone is going to suffer some abuse, let's say in the next, in the next couple of weeks someone in their life is going to start suffering some abuse, did you know that? and it's going to continue and I'm making videos to try and also share a message to get people a bit stronger to not suffer even the things I've been through, because I've been through, I've been through different things but it's like my mind, I've been through a lot as well you know and we have to, each of us, as weak as we may be in certain situations in our lives we have certain strengths, the way that we actually went through that in the first place, the way we are moving on, life is actually moving on, we're going through life anyway, aren't we? Right? So I think we need to sometimes look at what we're doing and, and we need to, you know, use those strengths and learn from each other's sort of strengths. You don't know my whole life story, I don't know yours, we don't know that, but it's like, you know, at least focus on some good. We may be living different lives, we may have had different things, but learn some good is what I'm trying to say, you know? Learn some good from, from each other. This is a very um, surprising thing that I have to make this video, you know. Um, you know, the world's go, the world's around you. Are you going to continue to be like a ghost, like a complete and absolute nothing in this world? Not nothing like in other people's eyes, but you, you live solely by how people see you or how people treat you. I say bullshit, because they were born as babies, the same as you were born as a baby. We're all the same. Nobody's better than you. Absolutely not. So anyway, I'm just saying, right, it's a mindset, it's a mind thing, it's a mind thing, so, you know, I, I don't even know what to say, I don't, I don't, I don't, I've got nothing to say, I've got nothing to say really, so basically, you know, basically, you know, it's like, you've suffered things, I've suffered things, we've all suffered different things, some people have suffered worse, worse traumas, and stuff like that, you want to call it that, but, look, we're all living on this planet for whatever amount of years it is a human can live. How are you going to use your time? We've, we've all been given a, a, a dinner plate. Are you going to not eat because, and that person's eating healthily and you're not going to eat because, you know, because the trauma or whatever, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's like, well, it's a hard thing, you know. Ooh. I mean, you've only got a few options, man. It doesn't bother me. I'm not being funny. Right? People out there, it only bothers me, okay? You're either, going, you're either going to live healthily, live focused, or you're going to live unfocused, which can lead to bad health, or death, or, or committing suicide, or just whatever it is, at the end of the day. As long as people ain't fucking up with my life, if, if someone's trying to steal from me, or attack me, and I've got to fight someone off, then it's, then it's a problem. But if someone's, you know, as long as it's not fucking up my world around me, if you can live as negatively as you want to yourself and bring yourself down to the to a goddamn whatever hospital bed or whatever it's going to be. Don't bother me. At the end of the day, you know, it's like I do care about people. But that's why I do these videos. I don't, I don't care about people. Yes, I do. But the thing is, I you know I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to put my half an hour or whatever the time was I put in yesterday making those videos or more my time. I just did it because I wanted to do it. The same way I do anything. I do stuff to share because I'm like some insane. What while you having fun just making videos? That's all. I'm not trying to impress or teach you or this or that. I'm just, who am I trying to teach myself? It's a mirror. You think I don't hear what I'm saying? I watch. I make videos and delete them sometimes. But I'm just saying, okay. You can go through your life now, one way or another, and it's just your own life anyway, right? But as I say, if you feel bad, study why you're feeling bad. A lot of the stuff you're going through is in your mind and what kind of life are those arseholes that abused you what type of life are they living now and I, I was going to say to you that's what I forgot I was going to say to you there's someone right now there's people right now in the world they're about they're just about to start getting abused did you know that there's people right now in the world maybe in the next in the next couple of weeks they're going to start suffering some abuse and it might go on for years it might go on for like 
a couple of days or what but that's going to be with them for the rest of their life if they let it now how can I say it? what kind of abuse it didn't know well, I don't know someone might get raped or whatever it is you don't know right but there's things in the world that probably are likely to happen I'm saying right now they, when these people get whatever kind of abuse it is mental physical abuse or whatever these people you hear these stories you go it's very likely to happen sadly these people in the world they're probably gonna some of these people are gonna uh, probably talk about this years after that's happened as well why? I think what fuck him you know, fuck, fuck the uh, situation the people that are going to abuse you they are shit aren't they they're doing, they're doing wrong they're doing wrong do you belong to them you continuing to allow this thing to be in your mind or to not fight it or not or not uh, I'm not saying you don't people probably do you don't know my mind but okay, maybe you do fight against it and have to deal with it and all the rest of it but what positive way are you doing try another way do you ever focus on good things do you ever try to at least try to make this bullshit that I'm coming up with make that bullshit actually a reality try to make bullshit a reality sometimes it's funny your imagination could do good things yeah? so you know like um, okay then I'll, I will try and like, uh, snap out of it and I will try and push it to the side you know? fuck I'll make the I'll try the impossible as well I'll try anything because I really don't like this pressure I'm having just fucking say fuck them. Just look, he ain't nothing. They're, they're born, people die, they become dust in the goddamn sand, in the wind. Literally. They're not going to be around forever. Like the universe and the star. Look up at the sky, you've got a whole universe out there. The reality. And you're looking around in the world, this political correctness bullshit and all this stuff people making up. Or the way of people's minds and how they, how they was brought up in their story and society and blah, 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 whatever the fuck. It's all made up bullshit. A lot of people don't even know reality. They're just walking around confused. So I'm just saying, okay, whatever their reality, okay, it's their reality. But whatever is not is not. But they don't know. But the thing is, you are living now. You got one time to live. You can focus on much better things. You know. <coughs> this is uh, my point, okay. So um, this is a follow-up video, this one you're watching here, to my other video, which is still, as I see, relevant, not to be taken as pure advice, even if I say it's advice in the video, listen, I've got to say, okay, the videos I make are not advice, uh, as such, telling you what you should do, as though I've actually been through the same situations that you've been through, no, because right? I can't do that anyway, I can't even tell someone how they should do something that hasn't even been done yet, because I can't advise you, because you are you, and every situation is different, I'm not in any position standpoint to telling people anything or how to do it, lessons of life, but I'm sharing good messages, feel good vibes, feel good stuff, right, you might say, well it doesn't feel good to me, of course, it's not, you know, the food doesn't taste good to everyone, everyone's got a different taste, you know what I mean, I'm just saying, the way I've dealt with stuff, because people don't know what others fucking deal with as well, right? I focus on good, and I say fuck negativity. I'm, I'm not gonna be a slave to it, you know? No way. Even if I'm, you know, there's people in prison right now who are uh, who say that their mind can go beyond the walls. They're reading or they're writing their own books or they're doing certain things, focusing to try to meditate to focus beyond that, so they're not nothing can capture and keep the mind captive you know nothing can keep the mind you've got to be free in your mind before you can be free in this world you have to oh I don't know because I've never been shot I've never been stabbed I've never been fucking raped or whatever the hell I've never had cancer certain things you understand I've not had those things so I'm whatever this or that you don't know what I've had to be going through in my life right but it doesn't matter what big or small it is. If someone blows your bottom half of your body off now, you still if you're still alive, you're either going to be living or dead, right? If someone blows your head off, you, you're going to have no mind. So you, for as long as you're alive or choose to live and want to live and have anything good you, you enjoy, and so then that's, that's what gonna, your life's going to be. Otherwise, you're just going to think about this negative stuff. It's going to make you less of a person, a more broken person, constantly, indefinitely, and probably bring you down and if you the more down you feel the more likely you are to not really live a good life or maybe you become can become less healthy and even die from that and what are you going to do commit suicide 
we're not talking about a trauma, a, a thing that happened in your life that has actually affected your your time now. Like it affected my education. It's affected certain things in my life to stop me from doing other things, literally in the world. So if you're if you're if you've got money problems or if you was thrown out of your house, let's say, from your family as a kid, if you was made an orphan or things like that, you know, whether you had everything stolen from you, um, you know what I mean, if you, if you was to lose your passport all of a sudden, or lose some documents or lose, you know what I mean, you lose the keys to that door, you can't get in it sort of thing, you know, I'm trying to give some basic explanation here, you know, right, you would be fucked, you know what I'm trying to say, then, then you're in big trouble with your life, or someone blows your leg off or something with a gun, yeah, that's something you've got to deal with, you know? um, or like let's say a trauma like where someone, someone, someone's family member was killed, or they lost someone, lost loved one. They've got to live with that. Someone loses a child or something, or or let's say another way, someone's family member, member dies, things like that. You know, we've all had that. You know? Or or let's say um, um, a relationship or something, or it could be a loving relationship or marriage or it breaks up. I've had stuff. You've got no idea as well. For fuck's sake. Someone does you wrong behind your back, and they uh, go with someone else. Or look, what's happens happen. You can't live your life and be slave to people and their mistakes and what they say and what they do, or live, live only if they do, in accordance with you. You know that just don't make any sense. Avoid trouble the best you can, and when you are avoiding it, you know just try to prevent more from happening. And always keep your mind free and focused. That's what I would say, advice. And you're going to tell me that's bullshit? That's bad advice for people? Because it's, oh, it's, it's too easy to say, you know, because oh, I've not been through that. No, all right, then, oh, as I say, however you're going to think in your life, anybody out there, however you're going to think, right, positively or negatively, you're going to continue. And whatever's better for you is better for you. Not what I'm saying, but what actually is better for you is better for you. So do what you think is better for you if you want to think about that negative stuff or the good stuff or anything you want to do. Do that and see. Look at what's making it better for you now. What is making your life better? And if you're not happy, fucking hell, man. Don't look at a fucking dumb YouTube video with people telling you their clever opinions about oh uh, how you can overcome past abuse and all that shit. Bullshit, man. I don't want you to listen to that. Huh. What does he think he knows? You know, all this kind. Of, so if you think it's all bullshit, then don't watch that. You know, why well, look for positivity? You know, if if you and, and then look down on it when you find it. You know, it's like someone who's looking for money or food or something. You know, what do you know about that? Well, I do know because I'm facing death, as I told you. I'm after fucking literally survive. I'm, I'm lucky because I've got the people around me that keep me alive. Basically, that's what basically like life support. I mean, we work, we do what we can, but I'm not going to go into detail, right? But I'm just saying, okay, there's people out there that are okay. So if you're not facing death, you're not facing serious um, trouble, then, you know, uh, uh, like, in terms of, I'm not saying literally facing death like someone's going to kill you or whatever, or, or cancer, but it's like literally, if you're facing, you know, you're always risking uh, having a roof over your head, you know. I'm not going to go into detail, I'm, I'm just trying to say, right, listen, okay, the point. It's like someone looking for money or looking for food, and when they find it, and they say, "Oh, this is no good. This is this is not enough. This dirty coin, it's not enough." You know, they find water. They look. They're walking in the desert, and they find some water. I says, is, that, "Is that all there is? Just this little bit?" You can't be on like. You can't carry on like that. You can't complain about everything. You you say you're cold, and somebody gives you some clothes to wear, and you say, uh, "I don't like that. Cut the colour of that T-shirt." <laughs> You can do freeze to death, you know. It's like, and then, you, then, you, then you turn it around in their face and say, "Oh, so now you're trying to say I have to be grateful and have what I'm given?" Huh? What do you know? You know, and all this. Uh, so say everything is negative. You have negativity done to you. You have, you carry other people's negativity in you for life. Then you tell other people that who are trying to be positive that they are not coming from where you're coming from. They don't have a fucking clue what it's about. Fuck them, and you know, fuck every, everything positive you see, just fuck it, because they're all living in fairyland anyway, which a lot of them are, I know, but I'm just saying, I'll admit, but I'm just saying, right, you say, I'm living in fairyland, so you don't fuck them, and I'm, I'm just going to be one big fucking negativity myself, you know, forever. Wow. Where's the strength? You might say, you might say, 
there's no weakness in, in a person like that or you might say there's a lot of weakness in you because you feel like you're on your knees do you feel like you're on your knees? do you want to stand out? you want to move on? you need others or you don't or whatever attitude it is I don't know but people out there I'm not speaking to I'm speaking to anyone out there okay? people in general I'm speaking to I'm saying speak to yourself like listen to the sit listen to it not the sit fuck the situation you're seeing the situation is how you are being because if you weren't standing where you are now if you was in another country or somewhere else or if you had another whatever situation you'd be fine but you're just carrying this shit around with you every day and you're in a bad attitude every day that's no good uh, so remember what I said yeah everything I've said is bullshit disagree with anything I'm saying here or anything I'm not saying just, just disagree with anything don't even matter I don't mind, right? Thank you for any support, anybody. I, I, I've tried my best, as I say. Um, but however, it's not because I say it or advice or that, but it's like, the main point of anything is, you are either going to go through your life thinking about that stuff or something good. Negative or positive, either way. However it is, is. And that, whatever is good for you, you're going to do, and that's going to work for you. You look at it. You look at yourself and see what's better for you. What's better for you? Not fuck. Richard ain't got the answer. I ain't got the answer. I've got nothing. I've got no answer. I'm full of shit. But you understand what's better for you? I'm full of shit. I'm, I understand what's better for you. I understand what's better for you. Ask, ask, and you go and ask your friends. Ask somebody else. What do, you, what do you think I should do? You know, Big Joe or whatever. He's like, yeah, man, you need to, you need to do this. I, I was like you once, you know. You gotta listen to me, man. I don't take this shit. And like, oh yeah, yeah. And you start nodding. Oh yeah, yeah. And you follow the guy because he's amazing. He's got his own company. He's this and that. You follow someone who's like looking like they've got it all and a uh, tough guy. Uh, but a little me talking on the video, uh, my words aren't shit, you know. It's like so sad, you know, so sad. But listen to your heart. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, thanks for watching.